in this bag right here are chips. And these chips are actually made here at KU. And these chips um, are made from a plastic. And these chips do two things. Number one, if I add a saliva sample to one of these chips, it'll actually pull out of that saliva the SARS-CoV-2 particles. Those are the ones that cause infection. So one chip selects with high specificity those virus particles directly from the saliva sample. Once those virus particles have been selected from the saliva, they're released from the first chip, they go into a second chip, and they're counted one by one. What that lets you do then is determine, number one, do I have COVID-19? Number two, am I infectious? And number three, what is the viral load? And that's what these two chips will do. Those chips are eventually going to be included into a handheld instrument about the size of an iPhone. All the operator needs to do is uh, spit into the chip. And then the, in about 10 to 15 minutes, the answer will be provided that tells, yes, I have the disease or no and yes, I'm contagious or not. I got a large team of graduate students that have been working on this. We've been working on this since the beginning of June, 2020. We have a commercial partner now that's moving it into the commercial sector. With our test, we can stockpile these chips. And what that means is, is that we can have millions and millions of chips ready to roll out on a moment's notice with the handheld instruments in the circulation already. So instead of waiting three months to roll out high scale testing, we can do it in a week or two. Our technology is not just for COVID-19 testing. It can be used in a plethora of different applications. And we have some really nice data on using the exact same technology for diagnosing ovarian cancer. We've also have some data to show that this can be used for diagnosing stroke as well. The chips can be reprogrammed to look for other infectious diseases. For example, influenza A, B, and whatever other influenza virus that you may be impacted with. We want to have stockpile testing capabilities to adapt to new future pandemics to do a better job on containment. And, and that's exactly what our test will actually accommodate.